Nicholas, the infamous first king of Rome. I ruled from 753 BCE to 716 BCE. During my reign, I invited criminals to join my city. Soon there were more men than women, so we invited the Sabins for a festival. During the festival, we captured the unmarried women for wives. The two tribes eventually came together. I disappeared in the thunderstorm when I was 54 years old. I was said to then have become a god. Numa Pompilius. I was the second king of Rome and voted in after Romulus died. I served for 43 years. I was a man of religion and culture. I moved the Vestal Virgins to Rome and established priestly colleges. Rome experienced peace during my rule. I am the father of Rome's culture and the man who turned the semi-barbarian peasants, criminals, and bride robbers of Romulus into something resembling a civilization. I am Tullius Hostilius, and I am the third king, reigning from 673 to 642 BCE. He seeked to solve his problems by the sword. He declared many wars and won them all. He was political too, as he noticed the population of the Senate was growing. He decided a new Senate house was needed. And then to make the gods mad, he wanted to be better than the past kings and became more religious. His plan did not have the effect he thought it would, and he was struck down <laughs> by lightning, by Zeus, and he died. My name was Ancus Martius. I was the fourth king of Rome. I proved to be a great warrior even though the Roman people doubted me. I defeated the old Latins and founded the city of Osio. I helped bridge, build the first bridge over the Tiber River and I died a respected leader by the Roman people. I am Tarquinius Priscus, aka Tarkin the Elder, and I am the fifth king of Rome. I am originally from Etruria. I rule from 616 to 579 BC. Legend has it when Tarquinius entered the city of Rome, an eagle swooped down and snatched the hat off of his head. But the eagle returned the hat safely before flying away. 
This act symbolizes that he was favored by fate. I was very successful in the battle between neighboring tribes. I also created the initial drainage form for Rome. A political accomplishment of mine is adding 100 lesser Etruscan nobles to the Senate. Although Tarquinius was successful as king, he didn't technically win the throne in a noble way. He tricked the last Roman king's sons to go on a hunting trip after their father's death. While away, Tarquinius won the Roman vote for king. When the sons came back, their throne was gone. This later leads to the sons hiring an assassin to kill Tarquinius by an axe to the head. This is my tape for RomansMingle.com. What's up, ladies? I'm Servius Awesomeness Tullius, and I was the sixth king of Rome, but you already knew that. Where are you from? Well, it's kind of a mystery. Some, some say I was the son of a slave. Others say I was a stolen prince from Corniculum. Or was I Etruscan? I like to go with the rags to riches story because it shows how awesome I am but one thing for certain, I'm here in Rome now looking for love. What are some of your qualities? Well, I'm kind of a ladies man. Uh, Tanaquil, Tarquin the Elder's wife, thought I was a prodigy and took me in. I'm also actually fire resistant. Uh, Tanaquil liked me so much because my parents told her that I was discovered asleep with flames all about my head and I was like, like, not harmed. How awesome is that? What's your economic status? I'm rich! I am actually like the person who put the stamp on the first copper coin. Like, don't let any other man tell you they're more wealthy than me because like, I invented money. Are you religious? Yes, I am. I actually am like closely associated with building the Temple of Jupiter. One last fun fact. My one last quality of mine is like I'm kind of a math genius. I made the census and I split Rome into five classes. So you better not go into any of the lower classes. You're coming to me. What are the things you hate? Well. Actually, I got this daughter and she's like super mean and like hateful to me. Like, I don't know what her problem is. Speaking of Tulia and her husband Tarquin, like I actually had a dream last night and it was probably by the gods sending me a message, but like Tarquin like came in and like hired assassins to like come to the Senate and murder me. And then Tulia ran over me with a carriage. But like, I mean, it's whatever. Tarquin has taken over the Senate. Come quick. Oh no. Hey, I'm uh, I'm I'm Lucius Tarquinius Superbus. That means I'm Tarquin the Great. I'm the seventh and final king of Rome. Now you see, the thing about me is, I was a jerk. All right, I bossed people around. I was a big old tyrant. That's the only way I was able to be in in power for only 25 years. The guy before me was like 44. It's crazy. I was awful. They hated me. 
But let me say, I did do some really, really great things. I completed the Temple of Jupiter. You know, I built some roads, did that kind of thing. Um, but, you know, uh, that was about it. That was all I did well because, like, people hated me a lot. And uh, my son, this guy named Sextus, is, he couldn't really, couldn't really control his desires, as you might say. Um, he raped this girl named Lucretia. You know, that's Lucretia. You know, they didn't like that. They li they liked her name. I don't know much about Lucretia, but my son must have liked her or something like that. Anyway, that made them hate me, and then they revolted against me. And now I'm talking about all this. And it was the end of the monarchy after that. And you know, the end because I was the last one, and I did a horrible job. Don't be like me. Established priests. What does that say? <laughs> <laughs> this later leads to the sons having an assassin kill Tarkness by hitting him in the head with an axe. I was getting out of the shot. <laughs> my name is. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. I proved to be a great warrior throughout my. <laughs> my name is Numa. <laughs> Legend has it when Tarquinius entered the city of Rome, an eagle swooped down and snatched the hat off of his head. <laughs> in the face. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the eagle. Are... Rome experienced peace during my rule. I am the father of. <laughs> I am... Why do you keep laughing? I serve her. I am the father of Rome's culture and the man. <laughs> Come on, why is so hard? <laughs> I get to like establish the Yay! Oh, we did it! Yay! Yay! I started laughing at Priestley because.